Ladies and gentlemen, slipped my wrist and flipped my hair to the side like I'm a fucking emo faggot. It's time for a review of Dashboard Confessionals Disc and Summer Studio Album. It was planned that I was going to review a Dashboard Confessional Album, but I didn't know which one I was going to review, since I never quite heard them before. Somebody told me that I heard a song from them without knowing who they were, and frankly, I can't even remember what the song they were referring to sounded like at this point. Most of the emo and screamo music out there is all blurred to me especially, if I go into that Hot Topic store at the mall, which is lame and is for girls. I didn't really decide to review this album, in the first place. They have two newer albums successive to this one, but this was the only CD of theirs at my local library, when I went there last week instead of the county fair, which is a torture session, no arguments. I do not like emo music, whatsoever. I don't like how laid back the style is compared to other rock genres. I don't like the whiny phrasing challenged vocals, and I can't forget, unfortunately, I cannot forget the fans. The fans of these bands have shitty taste in music in general and they are a pain to be around they can be quite rude and spastic, when you'd most prefer them not to be. In actuality, at my high school, some of these fans were student council members. Some of them have coordination issues, as I've seen in the hallways. One of them, a seeny looking one with black hair dye, emo band shirts, and girls jeans was walking in the opposite direction of me. We were about to cross one another and he made eye contact. He briefly stopped walking for a minute and I was just slowing down a little. Then, he did a jagged barge with his body and shoulder strap bag which scraped my forearm with the edges of the pins attached to it. Luckily for him, none of them fell off onto the floor. Mind you, this was during a passing period, right before a stairwell, and there were about four lanes of students passing through on this staircase. He was also wearing the emo pants, which are commonly referred to as skinny jeans. I can't understand how all these emo guys can just walk around in pants that type. In summer even. This just tells me that they have some sort of hypothalamus disorder. The cover of this album is crap. It's terribly unimaginative and had me thinking that it was some model, if he was to represent a guy they were singing about, but this guy is actually just the singer-guitarist of the band. What the fuck? Why would they, as a band, choose to do this? The band is not just him, in general, I don't like when bands have a photo or portrait of them together for an album cover, but just having one of the members in the front cover, as opposed to all of them is just careless and takes away from the immersion and variation of an album. I've always felt that way. It's pep beating and sticks out in a jarring way when displayed with all the other album covers they have. Just make a proper album cover and quit making your album look like a pop or rap album. When I was doing research on this band, I rarely found any pictures of the whole band, except for the damn singer and his whiny softy face. I would never guess that this guy is a musician, if I hadn't known who he was and had seen him anywhere else. Pictures among pictures of this guy and it almost appears, as though the other band members are just tertiary. He even took up the whole front cover of an edition of Spin Magazine back in 2003. Right from the first track, we are graced with awful nasally vocals, worse than Lincoln Park, worse than that breaking Benjamin crap. It's worse than Owl fucking city. No. Never mind, it's not as bad as Owl city, but it comes quite close. Very bad mixing on a strummed acoustic guitar. My question is, who the fuck would want to start their day with this shit? There is absolutely no bigger or inspired pace to this song. In the second track, the vocals continue to hurt teen ears. It hurts my throat more so. Track 3 is just like track 2, but it tries to go a bit rockier, but has some shitty guitar strokes from the start. Rooftops and Invitations is not any better, but here, they decided to hire some string ensemble and what they get is emo music with violins and cellos which sounds absolutely ridiculous. They make an already boring ballad song, Somnolent. Who would have thought? The first line of track 6 reads like it's pulled from a train song. And we'll get to train later. The songs delve into this chasm of more unending whiny lyrics propelled by the shitty vocal delivery that I just cannot get enough of. I cannot highlight a single riff, melody, rhythm, lead, solo, verse, hook, chorus, or embellishment that is exciting or memorable. Track 10, the ending song, Heaven Here is a ripoff of Skinny Pulpy. It just disgusts me to hear it with its out-of-touch Kirby's Dreamland mix in the background of those shit hell vocals. This album and this band are just pure aisle crap, all over, every track. The songs they write are all about some bitch girl with small tits. There's no solos, the drumming is boring. And the album is not even that long. It's like 35 minutes or something. They could have just composed 10 more tracks to go on the album of them jerking off. Some of the songs in that Naked Brothers Band album are better than the ones here, which is totally sad. I feel a bit sorry for the emo fags who think this is invigorating and engaging music. 
There's this band, while there are bands like Porcupine Tree out there, who have been writing songs about personal topics as well, but they, however, seem to be unable to make any of their music this interesting, like this album and this dashboard confessional band. There really is not much to say about this album, other than it sucks and I probably will never hear it again. Dashboard confessional is musical regression. Dear Diary, Mood, Apathetic. My life is spiraling downward. I couldn't get enough money to go to the Bloodbed Romance and Suffocate Me Dry concert. It sucks because they play some of my favorite songs like Stab My Heart Because I Love You and Rip Apart My Soul and of course Stab You Rip Stab Stab. And it doesn't help that I couldn't get my hair into that flippy thing either. Like that guy from that band can do. Some days it's fun. I'm an emo kid. Non-conforming as can be. You'd be non-conforming too if you look just like me. I have paint on my nails and makeup on my face. I'm almost emo enough to start shaving 